Hi everyone, NetFQ here and welcome to another EVE Online video. So you've got yourself an escalation, congratulations, but you don't want to run it yourself, you'd rather sell it instead. But how do you go about selling it? Well, sit back and relax and hopefully I'll be able to explain the process to you. Let's talk about shared folders. So within people and places, in the locations tab, you'll have a section called shared locations. Now shared locations contains a list of shared folders that you have access to. It also allows you to create up to three shared folders yourself that you can allow other people access to through access lists. So the first thing you want to do is sort out your access lists. And in here, you'll have a list of access lists that you've created. For our escalations that we want to sell, we want to actually create a new access list. So what I like to do is I like to create an access list for the system that the escalation is in. I'd just like to add a little note here to say that it's not always a good idea to create a separate access list per system. What I like doing is just creating a generic list called DD1, DT2, etc. and assigning them to shared folders. It's not really the access list name that's important, it's just the shared folder name that's important. So we just click on new access list and I'll give it a name, I'll give it a name of the system. So in this case it's e one uu tac 3 and I also like just to say what sort of escalation it is. So I want to say it is a 6 out of 10 escalation. And I'm just going to say create access list. Boom. Okay. And there it is there. As you can see, the default member is myself with no one else in it. What I also like to do is I like to create another access list called admin. And I'll explain that later when we actually put these access lists onto our shared folder. And as you can see, that admin access list just contains me in it. And the escalation access list, again, is just blank. It just contains me in it. So that's all we need to do here. So if we just close down that window, now what we can do is we can create a new folder. And I'm going to give it a name of the you know the system and what type of escalation it is just like we did with the access list in this case it's e1 uu tag 3 and it's a 6 out of 10 escalation now i'm going to select the type of folder i'm going to say it's a shared folder now as you can see down here there are different access levels depending on what you want now view access only allows a person to view and walk to locations the use access allows people to add locations, edit slash delete their own locations and copy locations to a different folder. Manage allows people to edit, remove locations or subfolders and admin allows the user to delete, rename, shared folder and change ACL. So what I like to do is I like to give myself the admin access so as you know I created the access list called admin and it just had myself in it so I want to say admin access um, is used by the admin access list or the admin access list is used by admin access and I like to give the people that buy the escalations the use access because that allows them the minimum amount of permissions they need. In this case, it's just to copy the location of the escalation or the bookmark to their own personal folder. So I go here and I select the e one uu tech 3 6 out of 10 access list. And then I go submit. And as you can see, it's created it here. And currently there are no items under it. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go out and actually get that bookmark so let's go ahead and do that now let's undock and as you can see I'm in the same system as the escalation 
So if I go into my agency window, and it's here, E1UU Tech 3, and I say walk to location. So let's go ahead and do that. So you get this window that pops up telling you that it's a DED site and its level is 6 out of 10. Close that window down. And there we go, we have walked to the escalation entry point, the jump gate. What we do is we go ahead and bookmark the jump gate. And I like to give it the label of you know, the same name as the uh, the um, shared folder. In this case, it's E1UU Tech 3, 6 out of 10. And the folder that I'm going to um, save this bookmark to is going to be our E1UU Tech 3, 6 out of 10 folder. And as you can see, it says online. So we do that. And because these escalations only live for 23 hours or 24 hours, I should say, I like to just to set it to expire in two days. And we go submit. Boom. Now let's warp off because the last thing you want to do is have a hostile that's maybe in the system with you, scanning you down and finding out where the entry point for your escalation is. So I like to bookmark the escalation as quickly as possible and then warp off. So here we go. If we go now to our people and places, as you can see, for our shared folder, EU, oh, so E1UU Tech 3, 6 out of 10, we have our bookmark in that folder. Now let's go ahead and try and sell it. So one of the great things about being in the Test Alliance is we have our own trade channel where we can buy and sell escalations to other Alliance members. So all I do is copy the bookmark folder into the trade channel. And as you know, no one has access to it apart from myself, which is what I want. And I also like copying the system that it's in. So people can just right click the system and find out how many jumps it is away from wherever they are in test space. And then I say how long it's got. So if we go back into our agency window and have a look at our E1UU escalation, as you can see, it's got over 23 hours before it expires, which is great. So I just say that it's got 23 hours to go and I want to sell it for 110 million iskies. Oops, there we go, iskies. And that's all I do. So now we wait for someone to buy it. And then once they've purchased it and paid us, we can then give them access to the bookmark folder. Right, so DBSL wants to purchase it because we put an X in there. So what I like doing is I just like copying their name and saying OK. Now hopefully he's now going to send me 110 million ISK. Let's just wait for him to do that. And there we go. He's now paid. And let's just make sure that it was actually him that actually paid us. So we'll go into our transactions in our wallet. And there it is. That's him. And he did deposit 110 million ISK, which is brilliant. So all we have to do is we just have to go into our access lists. Go into our E1UU Tech 3, which has the use access permissions for our shared folder. And we just drag and drop his name into the access list. Boom. Done. Now all we have to do is say boom. Boom. Done. And that's it. It's as simple as that. DBS. L now has access to copy that bookmark out of our shared folder and go and run that 6 out of 10 site. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until the next time, fly safe and uh, bye for now.